Welcome to LearnTAR YouTube videos. This video is going to demonstrate how to set up an SSH backup with scope and server 5. This could be scope and server 505 and greater. Um, this is not GOSH related, so this is going to be a little bit different setup than normal. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the LearnTAR menu. Go to device manager number 9. And we're going to do option A to add a new device. Option number 8, SSH server. And the alias, you can call whatever you like. And you type in the IP address. Feel free to use whatever block factor you like. I like to use number 3, 120. And since we're dealing with SCO, always use 2 gigabyte as your capacity. Even though you might be backing up more than 2 gig, it'll make 2 gig chunks. Uh, this is necessary because SCO has a 2 gig file size limit. Compression is totally up to you. It does slow the backup down. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to use no compression for right now. Now here, you got to be very clear about, uh, daily keeps one file type uh, for each file. So if you do a master every day and you choose daily, you're only going to have one master file on there. It'll overwrite it every day. Um, so if you want to keep at least a week's worth on your site, I would, I would do weekly. That'll keep up to seven days worth, and monthly keeps up to 31 days worth. So I'm going to do weekly. Now here is where the directory is going to be on the remote side. Always begin with the absolute path. In this case, I made a directory called backups, so I'm going to do slash backups. And the username, you can use whatever username you'd like. I'm going to use user root. And it'll prompt me for my password. And you know you're good when you got it successful. It's user root and the subdirectory slash backups. And I want to make this my default device because I want to use this for crash recovery purposes. So I'm going to answer yes. And just look it over. Everything looks okay. I did 111. This got cut off here. This uh, It just gets cut off about right there. So if you don't see your full IP address or host name, don't panic. That should be okay. And the capacity is in kilobytes. So this is 2 million. That's right for 2 gig. So I got my default. Now I want to test the backup to make sure it's working. So I'm going to do a selective backup, option number three. And I'm going to select files to backup. And I'm just going to back up the user loan tar directory. And always use a dot slash when you're backing up from the menu because loan tar CDs to slash before every backup. And it's going to verify my device. Since I have more than one device, it's going to pull up my default and say if I want to use that or not. And I'm going to say yes. Do I want to exclude anything? No. Default's no, so I'm just going to press enter. And we're done. So the backup is successful. Now you can just run a master. And if you're using this for crash recovery, I would go ahead and create a crash recovery CD once you have a good working tested device in Lone Tar. Thank you.